Hello everyone, welcome back to Scott's Exclusives. I'm Scott, and this is exclusive. This is something a little different. Um, Swiss Chalet, you've seen Matt and I both do the chips, the Swiss Chalet sauce chips. Um, what it is, is this kind of barbecue-y sauce. The, the chips were a very ketchup-y barbecue vinegar type thing. They're very basic, but it's a chicken dipping sauce, also with ribs. Swiss Chalet is a Canadian restaurant, rotisserie and grill. They're big on chicken. I always get the chicken. Uh, chicken on a Kaiser is what I would normally get. But they're doing something a little different. Um, the main chicken place, I'm sure you think, is KFC. Or in the States, I know there's Popeyes. We're starting to get them here. We might get one in Thunder Bay, so that'll be interesting. But Swiss Chalet is more rotisserie. Um, it's, it's never fried chicken. It's just rotisserie chicken. And... What they've done is something they're calling Kickin' Crispy Chicken. I got a quarter chicken, two pieces, combination of dark and white meat, which I forgot to select, so I might have dark meat. I might actually be really bummed out here suddenly. Uh, crisp to golden perfection with your choice of two new classic sides, or old sides, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Coleslaw, white or multi-green roll, and chalet sauce. I got the two sides, so we'll talk about that as well. They are cheddar and jalapeno mashed potatoes and white cheddar and parmesan mac and cheese. So let's see what we have. I could have displayed that better. That smells pretty good. Uh, that is two big ass pieces of chicken and kicking crispy chicken. Crispy and golden brown. That's not golden brown, that's dark brown. Fresh, never frozen Canadian chicken. Okay. Marinated for 24 hours and hints of chalet sauce in it. This is not a dream. Love our rotisserie chicken, then you're going to love our crispy chicken. We finally did it. We gave our chicken a crispy coating with hints of chalet sauce flavor. You gotta try this. And yeah, I absolutely had to. Um, now, I'm just hoping that it's not dark meat. I'm kind of bummed about that. There is, oh, it's all greasy as hell too, it's awesome. There is a, a piece that kind of fell off, so I'll just try that first off. I'll grab a fork and then we'll dig into this. Definitely a kick to it. I'll be right back. Let's look at the mac and cheese. Because that's, it's a double blend mac and cheese. I like mac and cheese. Um, there's not that much in here, as you can clearly see, so. Like, it's literally one piece deep. Not much in here. I definitely like that. That's really good. It's nothing super great, but it's definitely better than just a side of plain rice or fries. Though there's not much. Like, that, I could inhale that, and it's gone. That's not very substantial in any way. The, the white cheddar parmesan mac and cheese, I'll give it a three. It's perfectly good, but you don't get enough. Like, that's three dollars for that side, if it wasn't part of this. Here is the jalapeno mashed potatoes. I'm not sure what to expect on this. It already feels like there's much more here. Again, three dollars for this side on its own. Nothing super hot either. Like, this, this, this just arrived. I sat down, turned the camera on, so it's not like it's, I need it to cool. Also, you've seen me with spice before. Where's the jalapeno? Oddly enough, I like this better than the mac and cheese. There's more to it, and there's a little more flavor to it. If I give this a three, I need to give this a three. Because this is something I like, but there's not enough to it, so it's down from a four. This one is a solid three. Like, it's a higher three than this, if that makes any sense to anybody. Um, I would prefer that, but it's not a four. Hell, maybe it is. <laughs> it's really good. Now for the chicken. Now, the one piece that fell off... By the way, this is a big honking piece of chicken. Look at the size of this. I can see white meat, so I'm happy. So let's see what we get. I'm also happy, like I didn't get a drumstick, because there's much more to deal with here than if there was a drumstick. K KFC, huh? Swiss Chalet Kickin' Crispy Chicken. They've never done crispy chicken before. Let's see how this goes. That was almost all breading. Definitely a different crispiness than KFC. It's crumbling, as you can tell. Definitely different to KFC. Feels like there's more to it. 
for science purposes, let's see what the other piece is. It's also white. Now this, this is Swiss Chalet chicken. Yeah. That's pretty great. Look at that. This is absolutely something to try before it goes away June 11th. Absolutely a four. Easy. The main problem, it's almost a three because this keeps happening and I, like, it's not staying on. That's a serious problem here. The whole point is this awesome skin with chicken combo, which I've never, this is it. This is the purest skin chicken combo I'm gonna get right here. This is gonna say if it's a solid four or if I actually down it to a three. It's a low four. Doesn't knock it down to a three. It is tasty as all hell. Probably my favorite version of Swiss Chalet, like just straight chicken pieces. There's the kick. The kick only really comes when you get a big chunk of the skin. Not otherwise. Um, the chicken is awesome and juicy. It's Swiss Chalet. It is always good for that. Never any problem there. Considering this is a, a, a quarter chicken dinner with two sides, which are their fancy ones, this all told, delivered to my house, was 20 bucks. Try it. If, if you can, absolutely try it 100%. It's a very limited thing. I don't know why it's only for a month. Like, literally mid-May to mid-June. That's it here in Canada. They've never done stuff quite that limited. Like, even the chips are still around. They're still selling them for a bit. I don't know why they did this, but having it sauce or chalet sauce infused skin is brilliant. Like it's following the steps of the sauce uh, chips. It's a brilliant, cool idea that works. And it's gimmicky enough to make me order it tonight. Altogether, they compliment. I'll give the whole damn thing a four. Yeah. And that's that. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna eat this. And I'm gonna upload this. While you're doing watching that, you should also be looking at things like guiltypleasurecinema.com. That's my website. Cyclops Scott here on YouTube and around all the different socials. You can use greasy fingers to type it all in on Twitter, on Facebook, you name it. It's all there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.